Hello. Now, let us discuss something about what is involute and how we can represent an involute in a graphical method. Before going into the representation, let us know what is involute and what are the, what are its applications. Involute is nothing but something. Uh, let me take an example. If you unwind a cello tape, let me take a cello tape. Cello tape will be in a circle. It is a circle in which a tape is winded on it. If I unwound it, the shape I will get is this. I will I will be unwinding like this. So, what I am going to draw is involute. The diagram how it looks is nothing but how I am going to unwind. That is that is the thing I am going to get here. Let me take an example. Draw an involute. The paper the question will be like this. Draw an involute of a circle of diameter 40 mm. Let's say 40 mm. Diameter of the circle is 40 mm. This will be given diameter of the circle. We have to find the radius of the circle. Radius is nothing but 20 mm. 40 mm divided by 2 is 20. Draw a circle. Step 1 is if they are given radius, if they are given radius, directly you can draw the radius with the help of your compass. You can draw the circle of radius 20 mm. If they are given the diameter, just convert it to the radius and draw the circle. This is the midpoint of the circle. And the next step is divide the circle into 9 or 12 equal parts. I will always to divide. Let me say um, 12 equal parts. This division should be equal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. I have divided the circle into 12 equal parts. And take a point A anywhere on the circle. I have taken here. Take the point A anywhere on the circle. Now what I am going to do is just I have divided the circle into 12 equal parts and I am going to the I am and I am going to give name for that. Let me consider this as 1 dash, 2 dash. 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 I will be getting up to 11 dash because uh, I have taken one point as A From the point A, draw a tangent to the circle <coughs> This tangent distance should be equal to the diameter of the circle and we know that this distance is 40 mm. So I have drawn this. This is 40 mm. And divide this tangent, that is what we have drawn is 40 mm. Divide this tangent into 12 equal parts. How I am saying 12 in the sense I have divided the circle into 12 equal parts, so I am dividing this tangent all. To 12 equal parts. If I have divided the circle into 8 or 9, the same thing should be followed here. So, I am going to divide the tangent into 12 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I am going to give the name for that. Let me say 1, 2, So on. How I divided this is 40 divided by how many this is 12. 40 divided by 12, I will be getting some measurements and I have divided equally with your help of a compass. 
or you can divide this with the roller also. Now, here is the critical step. How we are going to draw an end value to is that from each point on the circle, that is, we have drawn one dash, two dash, three dash, everything. Na? From the draw the tangent to the circle. That is, see, this is the tangent. For each and every point, we have to draw the tangent. See, this is how the tangent will look. I will repeat. First step is, we have to draw the circle of radius given. Then, divide the circle into number of equal parts. I have divided here into 12 equal parts. You may divide into 9 or 8. Um, uh, it, it's our wish to divide the circle. And give name for each division, that is, each point on the circle. Then take any point on the circle. It should be a generator of the circle. I have taken here. And from that point draw a tangent to the circle. Uh, that tangent should be of uh, length 40 mm. Because this that is 40 mm. The given diameter of the circle is 40. So this distance should be the diameter of the circle. So I have, divided, I have drawn a tangent of 40 mm. And if you have divided this circle into 12 equal parts, divide the line also into 12 equal parts. How, should, how we can divide the line into 12 equal parts in the sense 40, this is the distance of the line is 40. So 40 divided by 12, you will be getting equal parts. With the, if this division you can draw with your with the help of your compass. And from each point on the circle that we have drawn the division, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 dash like that we have drawn. For each division, draw a tangent to the circle. This is the way how it looks. This is the tangent of the circle. Then the next step what I am going to do is, take your compass, take the distance of A1 dash. Take the distance of A1 dash. Let me repeat. The next step is take the distance of A1 dash from the point A to 1, sorry, A1. A take the distance of A1 from 1 dash, cut an arc of the distance A1 dash. Let me name it as 1 double dash. And take the distance of A2, A2, and from 2 dash, cut an arc on the tangent. Let me name it as Two double dash. Similarly, take the distance of one uh, a three da a three, and from three cut an arc on the tangent. Let me name it as three double dash. Likewise, a four. I'm getting here four double dash. Here five double dash. Here. If you can't draw the arc, you can extend the tangent. So that it would be easy for us. So I'm getting maybe get me. And I have got these many arcs and I am going to join those arcs with a smooth curve. There shouldn't be any break on the curve. I got it. So, this is looking how I am unwounding a 
thread or a cello tape from a circular coil. This is the thing, how it looks. This is the graphical method of representing the involute. Let me repeat. Draw for the first step is draw the circle of given radius, then divide the circle into equal parts. That is, I have divided here into 12 equal parts and uh, draw, take a point A, any point A on a circle and draw the tangent, divide the points into 12 equal parts and from each point on the circle where we have divided 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and draw the tangent from all the points then take the distance of A1 from A1 from 1 dash draw the uh, cut and arc take the distance of A2 and from 2 2 dash draw cut and arc from A3 from 3 dash take the distance of A3 from 3 dash cut and arc let me name it as 1, one double dash 2 double dash 3 double dash and I will be getting an arc on the uh, many arcs on the tangents I have, where I have drawn the uh, tangents from the points, divided points and at last I am going to join all the points with a smooth curve I will be getting an involute the next thing what we have to do is we have, I am going to draw the tangent and normal to the involute to draw the tangent and normal let me consider a point on the curve what we have drawn on the involute let me name it as P from P draw a drop a line which should be the tangent to the circle what we have drawn yeah, I am getting here I name this as Z and this is your normal and tangent can be from draw a tangent which passes through the point P this is our tangent I repeat how to draw the tangent and normal to the involute take, a, take any point on the involute I have taken I have considered P from P draw a line so that th that line should be a tangent of this circle I am getting a point on I am getting a point on the circle and I have named this as Z that is our normal to draw the tangent draw a tangent to the involute which passes through the point P that is our tangent thank you